All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motivation Monday. And uh, yeah, last week I didn't get around to posting my video midweek of the black and white uh, ash can that I have. So I'm going to do that this week. Sorry about that. Got busy. I did the local Oktoberfest. I'll sit up there selling my artwork. So I do apologize for that, but I'm going to record it right after this and uh, it'll be ready for you guys on Wednesday. So thanks again for hanging out with me. Got some cool stuff today. We're going to look at Ryan Benjamin's Rough Stuff Volume 1. This is from 2013. I picked this up from him at San Diego Comic-Con. And uh, he was tabling with uh, Sean Cheeks Galloway. And they always have their Table Taffy books out. And this looked awesome, so I picked it up. And the black is... back is black. The back is black. All right, so let's take a look and uh, see what we got in here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yep. A very cool. I wonder if this is like three panels. I bet you this is three 11 by 17s. Something like that. A sweet bat family. And he's got the kind of process shot. Roughing in the characters. I'm assuming he does that on something else. And, uh, yeah, kind of overlay. Show you what he's doing. Very cool. And there's the final. It's very cool. Justice League. This is cool because you can kind of see the before and after. Kind of like the pencil rendering. I like to look at all that stuff. Just kind of look at, you know, how they're going about it, what they're doing. And then you can kind of see a little bit how he's switching it up a little bit in the inks. How it goes from rough to final. Pretty cool. Even the faces change a bit. Superman looks a little different. A little less shading under the nose there. Very cool. When you're inking your own work, you can kind of change stuff on the fly. But very cool. Wonder Woman. I think this is inked by Crawford. Not familiar with his inks, but looks like somebody else is inking them. Very cool. Ninja Scroll. Awesome anime. Switching it up. Very cool. The Midnighter. Wonder if that's from the uh, Grifter Midnighter series that he did. Ninja Turtles. Very cool. Light on there. Very 
Very cool. This is from his uh, creator own, I think it's Pancratia. Something like that. Let me see. I think it says in the back. Pancratia, yeah. Cool stuff. I always dug this. She's like sitting on her leg, but it's got like a seat built in. And that dude looks awesome. Very cool stuff. I liked his, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, what was it, Phantom Guard, back in the day, his book he did with Image, that was a fun series, his own uh, creator own characters and story, it's pretty cool, I enjoyed it, this guy actually looks like one of the guys from it. I want to do some uh, some of my own recommended reading videos, and that would definitely be one of them. I got to do Silent Dragon too, so I'm trying to think of new uh, ideas for videos. But um, I need to get those going. Definitely some unknown books out there that uh, that I enjoyed. That I'd love to share with you all. It's cool. Joker. Hmm. <laughs> it's cool. Very, very Jim Lee uh, inspired art. But uh, he can do a really good Jim Lee style, but also you could tell, like, he has his own. You can kind of spot his uh, uniquenesses. That's cool. But I mean, that right there, like, that totally looks like something Jim Lee might have drawn. Same structure, same kind of figure drawing underneath. Very cool. I dig it. Big fan of Jim Lee stuff. I don't mind. But then you got stuff like this. This is like definitely Ryan Benjamin right here. The way he draws faces and other stuff like that. You could tell. <laughs> Very sinister looking. And last but not least, very cool Wonder Woman. I've always wondered if um, guys like Ryan Benjamin do like, um, you know, like, you know, there's like the ghost writers, but then there's sometimes you have other artists like finish off you know and do finishes up over someone else's work but they never get credit for it like i, I wonder because there's been times in jim lee's comics where i'm like all right that just that's not jim lee's work or there's just something about it that's off and uh you know maybe scott williams is finishing it but i've always wondered if there's other guys that are doing the work uh behind the scenes and they just don't get credit you know because they're on a tight deadline or something but anywho very curious so anyway there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I said, I'm going to record a video for Wednesday. We'll check out the black and white ash can from Art the Bear of his uh, old school 90s black and white. That was published with, uh, what was it, Extreme Studios. There you go. 
Rob Liefeld's imprint. And also, if you guys like original artwork, um, I have a Ryan Benjamin original that I've I inked over, printed out in blue line, and I ink this. So this is an original Poison Ivy and Batman uh, that Ryan Benjamin did the uh, pencils for. And uh, so I inked it. So if you guys like this, this is an original 11 by 17 piece. Uh, I'm This is for sale now on my website. Uh, so check it out. I'll put the link in the description. But uh, yeah. So got a few other pieces on there as well. A Red Hood, some Deathblow, Marv, and Grifter. Uh, if you guys are interested. But check it out. Um, I do my own art. And yeah. So I'd love for you to scoop it out. And um, yeah. Thank you for hanging out, guys. Like, subscribe, share the video, comment. And uh, till next time. All right. I will see y'all. Peace.